all right all right guys so let's continue all right so we now have our legend here like this i don't need the district in my legend mm, maybe towns affected first before population likely to be affected and then level of floodability and then rivers all right i want to set the columns to maybe two And you can choose to write it in block letters but I don't prefer writing the title for a legend you can choose to give it a background color maybe like blue So as you can see I have my legend here if you want to if maybe you find out a mistake or maybe you don't need this background color again you just double click on it mm, and I think you're going to lay out maybe I'll select this line okay. Alright, so let me just put level of vulnerability here and click OK. Alright, so as you can see, I want to put my legend here because there's something I'll be putting here later. Alright, so we have most floodable and then less floodable towns. Population likely to be affected and then the rivers. So we have our Central East district map showing floodable areas. Anyway, if you want to maybe change the font size for the district, you just double click on this this way. Change symbol. Mm. I usually love Algerian. Mm, Alright, so as you can see. Alright, so the next thing is this is very important you have to maybe provide a text or maybe a name to your map and you know everybody should be proud if you're able to design such a map you have to be proud of yourself and then just put your name there so the text it will appear here very very tiny you have to put your case on it and double click all right so maybe all right, I don't want to write anybody's name, just let me write my name, Sanda Mohammed. Or you can choose to write maybe produced by, by Sanda Mohammed. But then I'm not interested in producing by, so just Sanda Mohammed is cool for me. You can also try to change the symbol. To Algeria and then system all right so as you can see I'll just place it here all right so now we have our map showing the towns that are likely to be affected and the towns that are in the floodable zone let me change these colors a bit since I'm still not liking the colors, you know, I'm not good at colors, so at choosing colors. So. Okay, let me show you something else. You can now you can click inside this box like this, and then insert a neat line, a background neat line. Maybe I'll go in for yellow. All right, so as you can see, but then you can still change it to any color that maybe you want. Alright, so after this, I think you are done with your assignment. So the next thing you will do is to save it. The next thing you will do is to export it. You can choose to save it as, okay, let me save it as 
an ArcMap document so that next time if I can if I want to continue working on it I'll just come and open it so let me write uh, practical number anyway you can just put your name or maybe a name that you you remember and then save it after that I would want to export it as a picture so you click on file and then export it all right so over here the file name maybe I'll name it Cetraist district the save as type you can either choose to save it as tiff or pdf jpeg but then saving it as tiff has a higher re resolution which means your map ma your map will be a little bit clearer so i'll be saving mine as tiff but then I'll, where would i have to save it maybe i'll come to desktop uh, library sorry document all right i have my gis data here but i wouldn't want to save it there anyway you can browse to any folder that you want and then save it there all right so let me just save it here save it like it all right so now my map is saved my map is now saved so let me go and see if i have my map here let me check it okay <coughs> okay j is for a2 let me see my map what did i name it such a it's right all right such a is district map anyway you should be saving you should be exporting your pictures into a folder that doesn't contain so much cramp like this or trash like this you know so i have my map here all right so as you can see I have my map here neatly designed red symbolizing the flattable area less flattable towns affected and, and stuff all right so this is the first phase of the assignment the next thing we want to do is we want to maybe find out the total population yeah we want to find out the, pop the total population using excel so what you do is uh, anyway if you have microsoft excel you can open it but i usually love using my shortcuts i'll just press the windows button plus r and it will open the run button the run dialog box for me okay i'll input excel Wait. Yeah, and Microsoft Excel is in. All right. Mm. All right. Let me. Okay. All right. So now we want to input the population and then find out the total population, and then maybe represent it in the form of maybe pie charts and then and then bar graph. Or line graph or any of them that you want